Hey, Mohammed, thanks for uh, taking a little bit of time and talking to my class this morning. Um, uh, you graduated. Well, actually, I could I could introduce you, but um, maybe if you wouldn't mind starting by introducing yourself. Yeah, my name is Mohammed. I'm 32 years old. Uh, married, two kids. Graduated ranking 2016. Nice. And you are currently working in the industry? Yep. For who? Uh, for Centene. And your job title is? Currently my job title is Senior Software Engineer. Nice. That's a, a heck of a job title, so congratulations. Um, what does that really mean? What, do you, what are you doing on a day-to-day -day basis? I mean, let's just even start. What languages primarily? Are you using .NET? It's all .NET. Yeah, M most of the time .NET. Uh, we do a little bit of uh, React and uh, JS, okay. but mostly that. Yeah. Well, you'll be happy to know that our curriculum is the the JavaScript stack, so the MERN stack, and mm -hmm. we're still doing our .NET development. So we do .NET MVC yep. and Core and all that fun stuff. That's what they need. Yep, that's all they need. You know, like once once they get their grasp of or like one language, then moving between languages is like really easy. You just need to understand what's going on there and you would get it. Have you been doing .NET development since you graduated? Uh, yeah, yeah, .NET, C Sharp, that goes everywhere. Yeah, my first role though was uh, VB.NET. VB down on. And talk about, we talked a little bit off camera, kind of like your progression through, like you graduated, you started as an intern and the different jobs and all that. Okay. So, you know, uh, at last, last year, I think, where we start getting all these uh, the companies that come to ranking and we doing interviews. And so I hadn't had any luck with any of them. And that was like really down. And I thought like, what should I do? Because, you know, I mean, I always struggle at interviews. Like, I'm a, I'm a hands-on guy, and but interviews, talking, that's not my, really my thing. So I really didn't do good in interviews, I think. Uh, so by last month, I think, of before graduation, you came up and you had flyers, and uh, somebody was looking for an intern. That was a uh, blast soft Jeff computers. Yeah. If you, if you remember that. Yeah. yeah. So the description was about something, uh, a role in uh, like a little bit of uh, app development, a little bit of game or whatever. I don't really remember what was it, but I was like, I have no idea what this guy is asking for, but nobody th said anything. So I thought I'm going to give it a shot. So, I went there, you know, how you've been dreaming all this time, working in <laughs> like big buildings and there's offices and all these dreams. So I had my suit on and went there and it was like a house that's turned to a shop. That's like right on Manchester. <laughs> so now I got to go in there, the uh, guy came in and said, yeah, his name was Jeff and there was a dog in the house. I was like, there's a dog in this dog. <laughs> So, uh, after interviewing, so, but the whole thing in my mind is that, like, uh, this is just the interview section, so I'm going to be working somewhere else, there's going to be the big building, and we did some interviews, and, uh, I mean, some questions, and uh, the most important thing was, though, is, like, even for that guy, with his small company, he still needed to trust me with something, because I'm still not even graduated thing. So the most important thing was uh, the uh, the portfolio thing. I think ranking you guys still do six months after. Yep. So that's important. Keep all that in the laptop. Like, even if you don't have it uh, hosted somewhere, just keep it in the laptop. You can show what you have done. As long as the employer can see that you actually did something, that's good benefit. So we did go through all that stuff, and we said. This is your room. <laughs> he showed me like a small room. What I was like, mm, okay. But and he told me four hundred a month for two months. 
that's for me to train the, that was like a new language, VB.net. I have never done VB.net. I'm, I'm not like 100% on C Sharp still, like I've just graduated. But turned out all languages are very similar since like you understand the syntax. You just need to change it a little bit and just Google. Yeah, yeah. Learn VB, can VB expert, uh, SQL. So I had a lot of benefit from working there. Yeah. Because so the amount of dev work that I used to do there, hundred percent, compared to what I'm doing in my company, that was like the first one I started. Let's say it's fifty percent now, ten percent. So hundred percent doing a lot of things, like being the database administrator, being responsible and a lot of things. So that gave me so much knowledge that till now there's a lot of things that I have some experience on from my previous job. Yeah. But anyway, uh, so worked there for like three months and then the guy started having, uh, so he's like, oh, I'm a one dev and he's like the owner, he's a developer as well. So, and he has a computer, so he fixes computers for people. Uh, so uh, I was just one dev and First, he started selling his software, the one we were working on. Then he had some financial struggling. So we had our issues, and I had to be started looking for a different job. Yeah. I had a couple of interviews, and there was no luck. I did uh, an interview at Dari. The, uh, I think uh, Chris Sistane worked there now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I did an interview there. I was like, very good, but I had a lot of experience. All the other employees didn't have an experience, so I didn't get that job because I was looking for a little bit higher uh, salary. So didn't get that job, and then just because I have an associate, that means um, like I'm not at the. I can't really compete with the bachelor's level guys. But uh, so what do you mean uh, by that? Because because you've kind of made your way up the chain and you, you've got a senior software engineer at, at send team. So what do you mean you can't compete with the bachelors? Cause you, I would argue you not only have you competed, you've surpassed. Yeah. But that was like, uh, I had three years of experience and still like the employer is not going to just trust you. You have to really prove that you have done something. Yeah. They have to know like you really can do the job. So, uh, when I uh, I applied for Centene, I had my first interview. Oh yeah, I was going to say, so I have done a lot of, uh, what is that called, the uh, hacker rank? Is that what it's called? Like hacker hackathons? Uh, like, you know, some, uh, uh, just, I forgot what it's called. But uh, just doing some of the coding quiz, like coding tests or whatever, games or stuff like that, even if they are really simple but that's going to give you a lot of experience of how to understand what how the code works and what kind of output you should perform so uh they asked me a question that was like really easy to me uh, because i got a lot of experience like three years gave me a lot of experience so the question was an easy question and i passed it and like, just did it hands-on thing in five minutes so they were like hmm we had a whole hour for this interview and you're done. So yeah, then waiting and hearing back on us. So then that's my struggle. So the manager said, oh, this position is for bachelors and you only have an associate. But I the guy said, we're really good. So they downgraded the position for me. Yeah. And after one week, they said, just apply again. and. Well, so apply. if I can, if I can kind of uh, put this in context for my class and my current students, I would say that traditionally, traditionally, some job requirements are very hard. You have to have a bachelor's degree. You see that much, much less nowadays because they are just primarily concerned with getting the job done. The job demand is so high that the way Muhammad said it was that they had to downgrade the position for him. That is what I've seen as a transition in the last 15 years 
more and more and more and more companies are just saying, we need talented developers. So he said, I can do the job. I just don't have the piece of paper. Yeah. And and that's absolutely what I've seen over the last 15 years is it used to be a really hard requirement and that's much less so the case nowadays. They just care about talent and, and getting people who can do the work. Yeah. Yeah. So even the, uh, this, the while in college, that count as experience too. So again, like keep all your portfolio, all the work you have done. This is this is all candidate's experience. Yeah. So graduate of college and they ask for experience. Less, yeah, you did that and you did this, so you have done some coding. So you worked you worked in three years for one company and then Centene for the next three. Yep, Centene uh, three or four now. But yep, that's been it. So uh, and at Centene, yeah. you've worked your way up the. I'm sorry, you've worked your way up the ladder at Centene. Yep. What yep. were your job titles as you worked up the ladder? So because uh, I'm associate, they downgraded the job. I think that they downgraded the title as well. So I was a uh, application software, no, uh, ASE, what's the uh, application software uh, engineer? Yeah, sounds good. Yes, like I was like that. And then they, uh, after my first uh, promotion, I was like a uh, uh, software engineer. Um, yep, like I said, uh, recently got promoted to a senior. So what kind of software do you work on? Uh, well, at Centene, they are a provider, uh, I mean, uh, like a Medicaid uh, company. Uh, so my team, like I've trans transitioned through like multiple teams through Centene, but the most of the time I've been in a provider team where we just responsible for making provider like a doctor assignments to the Medicaid people and uh, so you know the membership the, the Medicaid person gonna come through multiple uh, stages and we just need to make sure on our part the members coming from getting the right provider assigned and you know there's like a lot of things and roles going through that so Again, on my first job, my first job, I was like just one employee. But a team, they work as like an agile uh, company. So the team would have between five to ten. Yeah. Yeah. Working there. Uh, so currently, at my senior, uh, we have they hired like thirty contractors. So we have about. 35, 40 people in the team. So literally from a job of one to a team of 40. Yep. Wow. Um, so what's the day in your life like? I see you're working from home. Do you always work from home? Yeah, we are a permanent home now. Nice, nice. So you wake up at what time? When do you clock in? When do you clock out? That kind of thing. Yeah, I don't say that because, you know, people are going to say, oh, Mr. G, you told us you got to come here at every day at 8.30. <laughs> No. <laughs> so, depends. Like, there's no restrictions. Sometimes we do have uh, like meetings that we have to be in the meeting at eight. So, you got to be there at eight. Uh, sometimes, uh, you know, there's a school and kids, so we gotta wake up early and take the school, uh, the kids to school. So, but let's say yeah, around eight thirty nine when I start. Okay. So uh, on your average day, you might be in around 8.39, work till 5 kind of thing. How much time coding? You said about 10% coding. What else do you do? So uh, meetings, we do have uh, a lot of meetings. Uh, so we would meet between us the uh, like as a team, stand-ups. And we would meet uh, with the business owners and discuss uh, requirements. Yep. What they call as a refinement meeting. Yep. Uh, we would meet uh, between us, the devs, and discuss like technical issues. So in my title right now, like I'm more of a lead. So as I said, like we have like 30 contractors. So I would lead them to, you know, like there's when some work we get comes in and uh, so we would discuss between us the dev leads and then we figure out what we need to do and then each would talk to his uh, team and 
make sure they do the right yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, there's a lot of that. There's a lot of uh, code reviewing. There's a lot of uh, uh, production support, uh, okay. issues, writing queries, you know, there's a lot of everything. It's a pretty good, pretty good idea. So here's a question. Why did you choose to get into this industry? Uh, so it's always been my dream to have a work on a computer since I was a kid. But then I just Googled what's the best of them all. <laughs> <laughs> what's the fastest way to them all? So ding, ding, ranking, ranking was the fastest. Uh, what, so right now we said uh, they are in their... First semester, uh, brand new students. Did they decide yet what to do or? Yeah, all these students are all software developers. They're all learning right now, HTML, CSS, are about to learn JavaScript. So it's those, those entry level courses. Yep, so although I did dream about having to work with computers, I have no experience in anything doing with the computers install, except like installing games, that's what I did. So yeah, when I joined Rankin, I was really confused. I didn't know what to do, and you know, where there was a that time when uh, each instructor would come and say his page, and you came in and you gave us your speech. I was sold. I'm so proud of it. So I I I played a role there, huh? Yep. yep. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yep. Uh, well, it seemed to have worked out well for you, you know, so congratulations. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Um, so you've given some advice that's pretty good. You know, you say, hey, the portfolio is important. Make sure to have the portfolio. Do you have any other tips for success to kind of, you know, have a good transition from ranking into the industry? Yeah. Uh, so ranking is going to teach you the what I call it, the basic kit that you're going to need to get into the industry. So you would really need to do your own thing too as well. So there's a lot of things that Brian can even teach you, but you're going to pick that up through the work. But some of the things like, uh, like keep your hands on, do a lot of uh, like whatever uh, quizzes or assignments that we get. Uh, so make sure you do that. If you don't understand, try it back, go back home and do them. There was, I think we did Code Academy too when we were at Rankin. Uh, we dabble, yeah, we always kind of. So, yeah, th there's a lot of things that uh, you can do on your own. Just, I mean, I want to say it's very, like, very go crazy and spend all your time because, like, uh, as I said, at that time I was a student, married, had my daughter, and I was working part time. I mean, not part time, actually, it was full time. I was working at a gas station full time. So, with all that, and I was able to keep up my studying, and it's not that much, but you have to do your part to keep making, uh, like, uh, to keep, to keep exercising, keep doing, yeah. uh, learning all these uh, code uh, syntax. So it sounds so, like, if I could kind of summarize what I'm hearing, you know, I'm going to ask what I have to ask out of you. But you're saying find a little bit of something to do on the side, a little side hustle, a little extra something outside of school. I mean, like the same thing. I mean, in your major, like do do whatever you do. Yeah, I'm not saying quick. side hustle in hey. another industry. I'm saying side hustle in the industry. Pick up I'm a sorry. tutorial. Pick up a, a hobby. Yeah. 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 You got to cool. do your part as well. Don't just wait for ranking to. Yeah. Do it for you. Now, last question, and, and thank you for your time. Um, yep. you've been in the industry for six years and you yep. said you're 32, 32. Um, do you see yourself doing this at 65 or in other words, is this a, is this a lifelong career for you or do you see yourself changing industries at some point? Oh, I love it, man. So that's what, that's been my dream. So what I'm doing now, I love what I'm doing awesome. and easy job, nice people. Great. You know, you gotta be. When you have all these business meetings and companies and stuff like that, so I'm in the good path. I'm the right Are, path. Now you're working from home now, but Centene is that company with the big building and the many offices. And does it match today a little bit more what you envisioned back then? 
Well, it was. I had that experience for a couple of years, and then all the panic started. But yeah, uh, I do like one thing that uh, I don't really uh, <laughs> so like the traffic. I'm good with that. Like staying home, that's that's fine. Don't miss the you traffic. <laughs> don't miss the we traffic. We still have our uh, like big meetings with the big leaders. That happens every now and then. So. Yeah, I still uh, awesome. can wear my suit and tie and go there. <laughs> so you got to dress up suit and tie every once in a while. Yeah, especially when you go like to the corporate. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Hey man, I'm so happy for you. You know, you were a great student when you came through Rankin. I always, you know, w wanted the best for you and your family, and I'm I'm glad that you seem to have worked your way into the best. So congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome. Now, I always typically kind of open it up to the class. If anyone has any questions, they're, they're looking at the watch going, oh, we're three minutes over class. They're, they're ready to roll, man. So uh, any questions from the class from Muhammad? This... we got someone scratching in their neck, but that's not a question. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks for taking the time. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Hello. All right, Hello. best of luck. Talk to you soon. Thank you. All right. Goodbye.